All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Drives Around Looking for Fish, I think is what we're calling this nowadays. <laughs> uh, good to have you. We are going to look at smallmouth, uh, late summer, early fall. What are the fish doing? Where are they at? Can we catch them, most importantly? Uh, I've been out for a couple weeks, couldn't fish. I had a little bit of an accident at work. I don't know if you can, can't really see it now. I just uh, smoked most of the skin off this thumb. Uh, how about this? Graphic photographs coming in three, two, one. If you don't like blood, close your eyes. So that was the thing that happened. I uh, didn't want to be in creek, river, pond, or lake water for a little while because you don't want to get that stuff inside an open wound. Take it from me. Been there, done that. You ain't gonna like it. So gaping open wounds stay out of water especially dirty water anyway uh, so we're gonna go look for some smallmouth I got a six weight uh, uh, with a clear intermediate line and talked about that in the last video the last two videos you could skip back chronologically the last video is about all kinds of fly lines because there are quite a few and video before that is smallmouth on a clear intermediate line why would you do it why would you want to we don't get into that today for the most part. So I think that, that about wraps it up. Um, filming on a new GoPro. Got a Hero 8. And GoPros are such a joke. Like they come out with a new model every year, right? Twice a year. And how much better do they actually get per model for how much they cost? It's, it's a joke. Anyway, let's go find some fish. <laughs> Okay, where we're fishing today is a spot that used to be uh, amazing. They used to do awesome here in the spring and the summer. Uh, always lots of fish. However, there used to be a bridge here. They knocked the bridge down, put up a new bridge, and I'm curious as to how that's going to affect the creek bed. Again, here in Pennsylvania, we call things that are rivers creeks. This is a fairly large body of water. Right here, it's probably almost 100 yards wide. Well, we'll get down there and I'll show you. But uh, I gotta put waders on, get my act together, and we'll go see what we can see. Hopefully, uh, still some good fish habitat here. I know that when they put the new bridge in or were taking the old bridge out, they did do a whole bunch of restructuring. So I, I actually don't know what it's gonna look like once we get down there. So I'm sitting up above the bridge right now. We're gonna have to look. There's a guy on a bike. He was telling me to be quiet. I don't know why. Huh. Weird. Okay. Well, this is looking mighty clear. I don't know if you can see that from there. Very low. Very clear. I'm going to stand up here for a little while, see what I can see. May any do anybody any good to go charging into the water without looking around first. Something going on down here in the shallows just looks like bait fish, little fry, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I can see him. Watch where I'm going. Oh, yeah, see those little fish? Um, I'm sure you can't see them. <laughs> little fry all over right here. I spook them all out. Then, I think we're gonna walk up and around the bridge here. See if we can find some deeper water. Oh, lots of them. Lots of fry. Herding them. 
Uh, again, I hope you can see that. There's just tons of fry here. All over the place. Where is your daddy? Or mommy. Oh yeah, there's just thousands of fry. Dang. Again, this is ankle deep. We gotta find a little bit deeper water. Well, the upside of the bridge was a complete and total disaster and a waste of time. Uh, I guess when they put this bridge in, they flattened out the bottom of the creek and it's just a flat plain. Just a big, long, flat, ankle deep, worthless stretch of creek, uh, which sucks. So we're gonna walk around downstream see if we can find a, a hole that's deeper. Traditionally, I mean, in, in the past, this hasn't been that deep down here either, but there are a couple spots that are a little deeper here and there. However, we may end up getting rained on. I don't know if you can see. Oh gosh, yeah, the clouds behind me are not, not looking great. So we'll see what we can do. Take a little walk around at least. Oh, there's a fish. Am I recording this? Eat it, dude. Eat it. Oh. Well, son of a b I was right. See him. I can see him. They want it. They are interested. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. They all just took off going this way. Oh, that was your shot. Oh man, that was it. Well, I found a bunch of fish. Couldn't get them to eat the bait fish imitation I was using, so we're gonna try this little crayfish fly and see if this will get us any eats. Uh, hopefully, there's a whole bunch of fish here. There we go. There we go. I knew it. I knew there were fish back there. Come on. Not a tiny baby either. Not big, but. Yes, sir. All right, come here, come here, come here. Right in the button. Look at that guy. Settle. I'm just gonna oh settle. Oh, I'm just gonna scoop you up. Right in the button. Not the world's biggest smallmouth, but nonetheless. <laughs> now the question is, can we still catch his friends after all that? I can see one right here. Okay, well, so we found a fish, not a bunch of fish. Uh, I managed to spook them all away. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is walk downstream a little further, see if we can't find another couple areas that look like that one where we just found some fish. So when you find, oh no, did I just hook myself? No. Uh, when you find patterns like that, fish up under overhanging trees and X amount of water, you know, you want to go find another place just like that. So that's what we're going to try to do. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, it was right about where the fish are. This isn't exactly what we're looking for. Oh, no! Oh, just a little baby. I can't believe he got that in his mouth. Got him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Little baby. Oh, and he's gone. The old quick release. I just saw fish sitting right here on this, like it looks like a big old piece of metal or something. Just five or six you know, little tiny bass to figure out. We'll throw a fly at them and, uh, they were interested. big thing today was looking for patterns of where fish could be found uh, up under overhanging trees in the shadows um, that school of fish that I just kind of stepped over I, I think they were just moving you know it's not like they were out in the middle of the creek feeding I think they were just going from place to place uh, I think the it's, it's not hard to imagine why they're up tucked up under trees like that when the water's super clear like it has been was today has been uh you know a bass is number one predators from the air it's birds and we've got all kinds of red tail hawks and bald eagles and all kinds of stuff around here that would just love a nice little half pound one pound smallmouth as a snack and so being tucked up under trees like that is a great place to look uh that and another big thing and i hate to say it because it's the most cliche three words in fly fishing but match the hatch you know I played with that bait fish imitation I could get some follows nobody would commit to it I put on that crawfish and boom got it so it's important it is important now the funny thing about bass is you know any kind of bass typically is gonna eat a bait fish imitation so sometimes it's just about finding what's more interesting to them could I have gotten a fish to eat that? Probably, eventually. Yeah. But maybe this was easier. Maybe it took less time. So, something to think about. What Another thing you could do is fish a tandem rig. Fish a bait fish and a crayfish at the same time. If you don't, uh, you don't want to make a decision. <laughs> it gives you more options. You can always try stuff like that. But that, uh, that turned out better than I thought it was going to. Um, the place I used to know that as, where that bridge was, is completely destroyed which sucks because it was a great place to fish, but it's all like ankle deep now. And there's not a whole lot I can do about that. There used to be a lot more rock and structure underwater and it's like, it's just all got flattened out, which sucks, but it is what it is. We managed to find some fish anyway. Uh, thanks for watching.